and now to demands from George Zimmerman's lawyer. So Mark O'Meara, that's the attorney, you've probably now gotten used to seeing his face, there he is. He's asking a Florida judge to prevent what he calls inflammatory words and terms from you being used at trial. Now his worry is jury prejudice, and I just want to share with you what he's put on the list of the words that he says are inflammatory and shouldn't be allowed to be used. He wants uh, profiled, vigilante, to be banned, along with the phrases, wannabe cop, and he confronted Trayvon Martin. So as you can see, these aren't just words, these are phrases that he thinks could in, induce in some way bias. Zimmerman is charged, of course, with second-degree murder and the shooting death of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. Jury selection is set to begin next week. Out front tonight, criminal defense attorney Mark Nijem. Now, Mark, when you look at this list, uh, banning wannabe cop, banning the phrase he confronted Trayvon Martin, banning the word profile. How likely is it that a judge will go along with this? I think she may go along with some of, some of them, but definitely not all of them. What the defense is attempting to do is what the state did last week. And these are called motions in limine. And basically they're claiming that the prejudicial value far outweighs any probative value and hence it's inflammatory and it should not be permitted in front of a jury because it's meant to arise uh, to arouse the passions of the jury rather than sticking to the facts and the evidence of the case so i think the judge is going to keep some out that might suggest that um, uh, that, that there's more here than the evidence and that they're really going to try to inflame them by showing that he's just a vigilante or something like that but some of the areas are really hard and i don't see the judge granting them at all now it, uh, what I, I guess I also don't understand is, I mean, the whole country is involved in this case, and everybody who is on the jury is well aware of it. So how does this make a difference? I mean, if you don't use the word, the word, I'm sorry, the phrase, he confronted Trayvon Martin. I mean, I don't get how removing that makes a difference. Well, everybody who's familiar with this case, I mean, everybody watching your, your show is familiar with the case, but not everybody is watching this case. Some just simply remain to stay ignorant as far as what's going on uh, with the news and what's going on around them. And so to go ahead and, and color this and to make it prejudicial one way or another, and the question could be reversed, if it in fact doesn't make a difference, then why use them? Why take a risk that you're going to be putting up words that are inflammatory and they're meant to arouse the passions rather than sticking to the facts and the evidence is what a jury is supposed to be about and what a trial is supposed to be about. So um, some of these are really uh, close as far as, you know, they shouldn't be used, but I don't think the judge is going to limit the, pro the prosecution because some of this is the, simply the theory of the prosecution's case. Right, and I guess you shoot for the moon, you go for a million phrases and hope that they just take out the two you were really hoping they were to begin with. I mean, I, I don't know, that's the non-lawyer speaking. Anyway, thanks very much to you, Mark.